Hello everyone, I'm just going to do a quick review on the Mika Basin Big Agnes chair. Uh, me and my wife will be taking this chair out for a canoe trip for six days and we used it every single day and I'll do a quick review on this. So the weight of this chair here is 2.5 pounds, uh, ultra light aluminum frame and it's got a pretty good decent material. So I'll go through it, how to put it together. It's a little different from your typical uh, camping chairs or your ultra light camping chairs when you put them together. But I'll kind of show you what this one kind of is. So that's how it comes. So the only part that's really normal from all chairs is this one here where that just clips in just like that. And on these ones here, you kind of see where there's a V-notch and you got to slide it in and over and then these inside just like that. And you got to do that for every single one of them. Just like that. That do the other side. Sometimes I have a hard time finding that notch. And this one here. Just like that. So that is the frame. It is pretty light. I mean uh, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, we've sat it pretty hard sometimes and it's definitely holding up very well. Uh, the material for this, like I said, is really good. I mean, uh, we've been around the fire and stuff like that, and a little bit of uh, you know, charcoal or uh, embers. embers would land on it, and if you're quick enough, you wipe it off and there's no hole in it. I'd like to have So you set it up. Let's put in the uh, notches here. Fairly easy. We'll have to fight with it, fits pretty good. Last one, it's harder. There you go. And the good thing, what I like about this this chair here, it seems wider than your average chair. Or you sit in it, a little bit in. on the sides. You're not right up against the frame because I put my hands right here and the frame is still in between my hand. So it's uh, pretty good for that. Uh, the only thing that you really have to be careful with this chair is um, it seems to want to tilt back a little bit. So if you kind of flop in it, it wants to go backwards. Um, so when you do sit in it, just take your time. Don't just throw yourself in it because you're going to end up on the ground yourself. Uh, the other thing um, that would be nice, if they would make the, uh, the foot a little wider at the bottom. So I don't know if they can have Santa, some sort of uh, thicker part on it or just change the whole foot where it just kind of winds up at the bottom because there's a few campsites that we're sitting at and it would be kind of soft and you'd kind of lean to the side and potentially fall. Besides those two things I think it's a great chair. The total the price for these chairs they would go for about a $200 uh, but on sale you can get them for about $140 so besides everything else thumbs up for this chair I do recommend.